Hello, this is Ken Alston. And today I want to talk to you about the question, what is sustainability? It's a question I get asked over and over again, even now after almost 40 years of people working on what we call sustainability. And the fact that I keep getting asked this question really indicates to me that there is so much confusion, so much misinformation, so much misunderstanding around this work, especially as it applies to businesses, that we have to go back to school and start over again with our education. I'm going to just pause here for a second and pull up my screen. So hopefully now you can see my screen, this short introductory presentation. And I want to start with a statement from Buckminster Fuller. Buck Bucky Fuller is a person who I respect a great deal. He's written a lot about many things. He is the designer and conceiver of the uh, geodesic dome, amongst other things. And he's written a lot of books, including several that really touch very much on sustainability. And one in particular is Earth Inc. You may just be able to see it here in the little thumbnail. And I, I particularly like um, this quote from from Bucky that says, we are called to be architects of the future, not its victims. Can the processes of education and self-help be turned to man's greatest advancement? The answer is yes, if you're willing to unlearn, if you are willing to put into doubt the information you've been fed and to start from the beginning. And that's really what we need to do with sustainability, because we've been fed so many things about sustainability over the last 30 plus years that it's now such a mishmash that everybody uses the word interchangeably with other things. And when we talk to each other, when we communicate about sustainability, we're not really communicating at all. We're thinking we're using the same words and understanding the same meaning, but in reality, we're probably talking right past each other and miscommunicating. And so what I want to do here is to ask the fundamental question, are we asking the right questions? Are we communicating effectively or are we, as I think we are, miscommunicating, misunderstanding and talking past each other? And I thought you might like to see an old ray from the greatest slide from me way back in the early days when sustainability was first being taken up in business. And so the question I'm asking is, are we even on the same playing field when we use a word like sustainability? We all assume we have the same definition of the word, but the probability is that we don't. And, you know, we're really in the age of the internet of things now. And so we have many different ways to go about answering this question. I'm going to go through just a couple of them here because I think they're informative and instructive. The first, of course, is the dictionary. We can go back to the old fashioned book and ask the question. We can do a good old Google search, right? We can Google things. And now of course we have um, AI and we can use ChatGPT4 and other AI tools to ask the AI what we think of things and see what answer we get back. So surely you would think we could answer this question of what is sustainability. So what is it? Well, let's look at the Cambridge Online Dictionary. It's a word that describes a concept or a metaphysical idea. And you can see here, it's the quality of being able to continue something unsaid over a period of time. And the example is the long-term sustainability of the community. And so they've given you the time frame for long-term and they've told you what sustainability is being applied to. In this case, in this definition, the example they're giving is the community. And so right away, we get two better questions. And this is at the heart of what we have to do when we unlearn and then relearn, is to ask better, deeper questions. So the questions I would ask is, what is it that you're trying to sustain? And then when we go look back at that definition, over what time period are we trying to do it? And when we go a little deeper in that dictionary definition, it talks about applying it to the environment. And here it's the quality of causing little or no damage to the environment and therefore able to continue for a long time. So this is what we get when we apply it to the physical realm or the environment. 
But really, you know, is this the best that we can aspire to? Causing little or no damage to the environment and therefore able to continue for a long time? Are we always doomed to cause damage to the environment? This is a question I really want you to think about because in other presentations that I will share with you, I think we can go way, way further and way better than this. But let's look at Wikipedia. That's another source we can maybe turn to. Sustainability is a social goal about the ability of people to coexist on Earth for a long time. Specific definitions of this term are difficult to agree on. Ah, so at least Wikipedia is agreeing with us that this definition of uh, sustainability has been used and, and, and misused and miscommunicated so many times. So we're in agreement there. But now it's only a social goal. and It's about people coexisting on Earth. And we've got a time frame in here. It's over a long time. But is it only people? Is sustainability, when we're thinking about it in a global or whole Earth context, is it really only people? Aren't there other species that we might want to sustain as well? So this definition seems to be a little lacking to me. And you'll see that there are some two-dimensional representations here that you might typically see representing um, sustainability. And for me, I find these very flat and two-dimensional and don't take us very far. So let's have a look at the government now. Let's look at the US EPA. Well, they say sustainability is based on a simple principle. Everything we need for our survival and well-being depends either directly or indirectly on our natural environment. That sounds fair enough. To pursue sustainability is to create and maintain the conditions in which humans and nature can exist in productive harmony to support present and future generations. Ah, here now we begin to see something that resembles what we might think of as sustainability. <clears throat> We're thinking about the present and about future generations. So we are indeed looking on a time frame, on a time horizon. Um, but it's about humans and nature to coexist. Well, that's an, one way to look at it. We've at least now re uh, recognized that nature can be part of the solution. So let's have a look at what the academics might say. And here's one particular academic institution showing this wonderful image of the earth with arrows going up and down and round about and has the classical three E's, environment, economy, and equity. And so sustainability is the balance between the environment equity and the economy. And when you see this representation, you'll find that they're always supposed to be equal. They're always supposed to be in balance. But the reality is they never are. So let's have a look at ChatGPT and let's ask ChatGPT. And when I ask ChatGPT what's the common definition of sustainability, it knows a little bit more because I've been training my ChatGPT. And they talk about this common definition about meeting the needs of the present without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their needs. And this definition comes from the Brundtland Report in 1987 from the Commission of, UN Commission on Environment and Development. And it talks about these three E's. I don't think this is good enough. It may have been good enough when we first started that it began to make us think about more than just economics, that we had to think about the environment, we had to think about equity. But these are just like three buckets that you drop things into. And so if you try to actually apply sustainability thinking in the three years, what are you doing? You're just saying, well, there's two more things we've got to take account of. It doesn't take you very far in saying what we actually have to do. And uh, my chat GPT gives me a little reminder it, because it knows what I've told it in the past. It's important to note that conventional definitions and approaches to sustainability have been critiqued for their limitations, such a lack of focus on systemic changes or an undue emphasis on incremental improvements that may not suffice to address urgent challenges. And it reminds me, as I am already aware, that these simplistic two-dimensional approaches can often fall short of addressing the complexity and interconnectivity of the issues that we face today. So that's a very short introduction to this issue of sustainability. And I hope that you think long and hard about the definitions you've heard in the past and that you begin to challenge them a little bit and look a little deeper. Think about the two primary questions, two better questions that I suggested you need to ask. And um, 
I look forward to hearing comments back from you about what you think about this, and we can have more discussions and chat in the future. See you later.